There's no way I could start this video without a massive thank you. To say that I am humbled and grateful would be probably the biggest of understatements. Uh, a friend of the channel and a guy who has sent multiple gifts across the community uh, to more people than I can count sent me this to review the uh, HasLab His Tank. Uh, I, I again humbled, grateful. Um, his name is G Tony. Uh, he has been a member of the collectors of community for. Lord knows how long, um, very active in multiple Facebook groups. And like I said, I know many collectors, reviewers, and otherwise that this guy has blessed with some pretty incredible gifts. And I am now the recipient of one. So G Tony, thank you so much. Uh, I cannot tell you how much I appreciate it. And I could ramble on forever about how grateful I am. So thank you very much. And thank you guys for watching. So let's get started. It's Kato. I am very excited to take a look at this. The box is absolutely massive. You can see the Semper Fidelis, Cobra Serpens there on the front. I love that logo. You can see a bit of the diagram of the His Tank there. Mars Technologies 788 uh, GH7C. More artwork there on the side. Uh, His Tank artwork on the back. Some more artwork as I go mobile here of the His Tank on that side. And more diagram style artwork on the back. Now, I'm going to get this guy out of the box and show everything that it comes with. From there, I'll figure out how to show it to you guys. Inside that much larger box, you get two other boxes. This is the smaller of the, of the two. I believe this is what's going to contain the figures. Just corrugated cardboard with the Cobra emblem on there. Let's open this up. And we get... Oh, some stuff. Uh, this looks to be the decals and maybe some instructions, but definitely the decals. Uh, some nice paper. We get the Cobra Hiss Gunner. In package, your standard classified packaging here. A little different than the store-bought on mine's tour, but I think I just did that because I took it out of here wrong, but I don't keep the packaging anyway. Set that aside. Uh, let me get that out. That's probably what made it difficult for me. Then we got the His Driver right here. Similar packaging. Diagram on the back. Set that aside. And we have the His Tactician. And it looks to be signed. Wow, I might actually have to keep this packaging. I did not realize that was gonna be a thing. Maybe I didn't read it well enough, but I think that's pretty cool. That's really cool, actually. Might have to keep this box just for that. And then, of course, also in that, you get the retro packaged Cobra Commander, which I think is probably one of the things I was looking forward to the most is that all that's in here uh, nothing in there and nothing in there so that's what's in box number one now the contents of this box I believe are going to be a little bit harder to show you as it stands let's see if I can embarrass myself by somewhat opening this on screen all right so here <laughs> is the actual his tank let's see if I can make this count so options options canopy more side armor options clear canopy red and black canopy we're gonna take a look at all this once I get it together uh, more side armor options there and the lighting i knew i was going to struggle with this having the right lighting there we go 
just because of the amount of space it takes. So more armor. Now let's see what happens if I take this out. Did I, is it upside down? Nope. There you go. That is how the his tank is packaged. More turrets. More bells and whistles. Some guns. Missiles here. Missile pods. More missile pods. All this I'll open separately so you don't have to put up with that. And then this massive beast that is the his tank. Let me get it out of this very glary plastic and get the box out of the way and actually look at this guy. Well, here's our first look at how the his tank comes out of the packaging. Obviously, without any of the weapons or anything installed, I will do that separately here in a second and then show you the finished product. But I don't know how I can express how big this thing is. Uh, most of my figures are still packed up from the move. But let's see. I do have... Well, let's do this. Here you go. Beside an impacted six inch Cobra Commander. It's huge. My God, it's huge. Here is the His Tank with the most, probably the bare minimum of unlocked accessories on side. I would say that this is the most uh, generic version of the, of the His Tank. There are some upgrades like the missile pods, which I'll put on and show those off in a bit. But this is probably the most standard looking bit uh, of, of His Tankery you would get with the uh, more mechanical flat metal looking uh, sides to the treads. You have um, the clear plastic canopy, uh, the uh, smaller weapons and the larger cannons here at the top. Uh, let's get a look at how the His Tank looks like this. Wow, I'm hitting buttons all over the place, turning lights on. One of the few times I actually got put batteries in anything Let's go a little bit mobile so we can look at this thing up close as it is. So I don't particularly like going handheld, but I think with something this size, giggity, uh, handheld is the way to go. Cobra emblem on the back, GH7C there on the side. What looks to be a gas tank does open. That's where uh, more weapon accessories will go shortly. You can see the rubber treads coming down, and this is that more uh, standard side piece that I was talking about earlier. Uh, no decals, I haven't added any of those yet. I may not because I kind of like the, how it looks now. You got the cannons. We're gonna look at that canopy in just a second. The cannons here installed on the side. You can see inside there where the gunner will go inside the canopy. I'll open that up in a sec. I'll also show the lights off now. There's a ladder, a little step ladder here on the side in case you want to use that. I may put that down when I want to see it. Uh, spin them around to the front. And yes, the treads do roll. We got the nose and a little bit of warning underneath, nice and solid under there. Right there is the button for all of the lights. I'll show those in a bit as well. You've got another little notch there, that circle, where another gun will go. You have the Cobra emblem on the cannons. Uh, if we turn these cannons to the side, open this canopy up, we can start to see what you get inside. Nice red and black seats. Sorry for the shadows. All the details inside there this looks so good. The seat belt, I gotta say, it's pretty solid. I know that a lot of folks, or some folks, had mentioned that the plastic felt a little cheap. I don't know that I feel the same way, but I can understand it. Kind of feels like a pretty standard Hasbro plastic for uh, a figure, it's just bigger and bulkier. There's, the, let's see, let me click some of the lights on. So now you can see uh, the inside. Let me zoom in, get a good look at that. Of the cluster panel, the lights on there, the gear shift. Man, this thing is brilliant. I do love it. Uh, 
see, get that back off. Yeah, that's very cool. We'll see some of the other lights here after I get all the figures in. Don't mind the uh, fingerprints from where I was installing this thing. Very, very, very cool. Love how this looks. Look at the back real quick because there's some gadgetry going on in the back as well. Of course, you've got the tow hitch for what I'm assuming will be an asp at some point. Nice step and let's see let me get this open and there is the seat it looks like when you lower that the light comes on see that in there got your seat there your cobra emblem seat me, i'm gonna mess with that a bit see what that does and of course you got your weapon rack which i think is one of the cooler accessories i'll pop that out in a second that's a look at the interior. Just to be perfectly clear, be very careful with this. Now, the instructions kind of show that this just snaps in to one of these seat sections, and there's three sections right there. But the truth is, this hits the top when you, you really slide it up and out of that. And this, the top of the chair, tends to hit the top of this. So be very, very careful when you are moving these don't pull on i mean this doesn't look like it's going to break but just be careful how the seat tabs in here but just to give you an example i mean you need to kind of come in at an angle a bit to slide in because of the top of the chair um may not even be able to do it on camera until i can get in there but it is very finicky to get inside and out of this section to slide in here same with the gun rack so the instructions look like you just pull straight out on that uh, you can see these are like an L bracket tab you are almost certainly going to snap those if you pull straight out and this is much more likely how I am to display my his tank possibly with the ladders down so that folks could climb up. But you have the rear mounted uh, missile pods, uh, the red and black uh, canopy cover, which I'm gonna look at that again in just a bit. You have these side covers here that replace the more standard side covers or tread covers. And you have this front uh, pivoting gun here. And we're gonna look at all this in just a little more detail, one thing I want to mention is the missiles from the missile pod do actually uh, come off. So if I can get that to focus, red paint, Cobra emblem, and they just tab right on to the missile pod section right there. I like that a lot. Very simple. Um, let's look at a few details here that changed. The first change is these side pieces here for the tread covers. Again, the missile pods, I added those on. They just tab right into the side. You have the red and black canopy, which opens, uh, if I get in there, it's very difficult to do holding the camera. Uh, get that in there. Just opens. Like so, pop that open like that. And you also have these gull wing options here. Now I've seen quite a few folks where these did not close well, and they certainly don't close as well as the one that doesn't have any gull wings on it at all. But um, I don't have as much of an issue as some folks do, but there is a little bit of gap right here it's just because it's hinged but it does break the sculpt up a little bit and then you also get these nice i love that purple tip on the edge of those guns it's the same that's on the larger cannons Looks like i have some lights i'm going to turn the room lights off shortly so you can all get a look at what it looks like with all the lights working there got them off 
Uh, yeah, then I'm going to get the figures out of the packages and at least let you see those. And that will complete the whole look. It is pretty black in here right now, so reach up here, tap the old button. You can see I showed you earlier the interior canopy and how that looks, but there is the red lights on the front. There is the Cobra emblem on the undercarriage that shines. I gotta get a better look at that. This is uh, shining on my table here. It doesn't really give it enough of a glance at what that looks like. Maybe I'll come up with something, see if I can make that look better. Headlights, fog lights, center light off, headlights off, fog lights off, just the red lights and the Cobra emblem, and then everything off. And I believe, oh, I think I hit it again. Let's see, we also have tail lights. Yeah, so those pop on, looks good. Took it over to a different spot here so that you can see what the Cobra emblem looks like shining down on something solid. Now this video is getting to be long enough, so let's breeze through the unlocked figures uh, really quickly. Cobra Commander, a more tune accurate looking Cobra Commander. I still wish we could get the hooded Cobra Commander. We'll look at him more in a second. You have his handgun. Come on. There you go. His handgun. Uh, black with a little bit of red. Very cartoony. You have the globe and Cobra painted well, nice little accessory. You have his little backpack holster. Put that there. Little blade dagger that'll go into his thigh. And you have a couple of hand accessories, which honestly, at this point, this number of hands should be pretty standard. Comes with the weapon holding hands. You've got two closed fists, a open palm or an open palm and a pointy finger all uh, hand options that we've seen with various versions of cobra commander and like i said very tunish cobra commander with his uh, little medals or his epaulets or whatever they're called on the top here turtleneck cobra emblem black red nice little belt nothing crazy just a very good tune accurate cobra commander articulation is exactly what we've been getting out of uh classified in the past other than let's see oh yeah there it is let's see we better have a double hinge knee yeah there it is the dagger holster the sheath for the dagger does want to slide down pretty easily so i don't like that very much but everything else is pretty standard for Cobra Commander. Really nice looking figure. Next up we have the Hiss Gunner and her accessories. Which by the way, it's nice to have another female figure in here. You have her small handgun. Man, this focus is killing me. Small handgun, all in black. Nothing really spectacular here. You have a couple of extra hands and closed fists. Right there. They look all right. They look a little cheap for some reason. Can't figure out why. You have a hammer, which is actually straight. I uh, absolutely hate that I have to say that having a straight weapon is a bonus. It should be a standard. You have her, uh, whatever version of futuristic machine gun. This is actually a shotgun, I believe. Yep, looks like shotgun rounds in there. Uh, the magazine does remove again. Um, yeah, I think that's it's pretty straight. I hate that I have to even consider straight being an option in these. This magazine removes. Nice silver uh, bayonet up there. That looks good. Shovel, again, I think we're in luck, and it's pretty straight. Ah, man, looks good blades here are the serrated edge of the shovel all looks really good the figure on the other hand has a bit of issue just like with most of 
the Hasbro female figures. Look at the head. Look at that. Just a little, little shaky, the head. It's on there tight. It's just a just goofy shaky. Uh, articulation is fairly standard, although this female mold does have a butterfly joint. Uh, this piece, I'm sure you could take that off if you wanted. The abdomen looks really weird. I don't know if it looks... If you look below this belt, it looks like it's distended or something. But, uh, yeah, that looks good. I love the boots on this. Nice, tall, metallic-looking boots. Uh, probably one of the better female classified figures, but uh, so far the most disappointing one with a few loose joints. But nothing major. I mean, everything feels pretty tight. I love that. I think it looks really good black and red nothing to surprise here but yeah the, the little head bob is eh, I don't like it I could probably tighten that up a little bit but anyway I don't maybe I'm nitpicky next up is the hiss driver and similar accessories to the gunner you have a zoom in here on the right spot Let's see, I don't know why my camera is being so stupid. Yeah, you have a very similar handgun, nothing major. You have the same uh, rifle with removable magazine and painted gray bayonet, the gray bayonet. Now, the alternate hands for the driver are these massive driving gloves. I will probably... Uh, use these. I'll probably swap these uh, those out and use these. I don't know. I kind of like how these look, but the figure itself is in much better shape than its female counterpart. Uh, no bobblehead. Everything feels sturdy. Very similar problem with all of the most of the female figures, but yeah, this guy is really good. Got that same little bracelet here with all the doodads on it nice butterfly articulation is exactly what you think it should be this is pretty much the male counterpart to the gunner not much different otherwise one thing i'm going to say to all toy makers out there stop making weapons where the stock and the grip are so close together and the grip is closed off sure it looks good uh, in practice it is pretty aggravating to get a hand in there just saying and lastly we have the tactician this was the uh, fan vote or the uh, haslab supporter vote when i first supported the haslab before i canceled it this is the color i voted for uh, the accessories are very similar to what we've gotten with the others other than a few paint differences. So red and black rather than just solid black. Uh, same with the handgun and then very similar fists we got to the driver. Now, this figure, while I was very excited for it, is probably the worst one out of the four. It feels a little kit bashy. A few loose joints, uh, the knees a bit uh, loose, not terrible, but it, it is definitely loose. Hips are a little, little loose here. It just feels like an afterthought to the whole uh, rest of the crew. I, I can't explain it other than that. It feels like, it feels like somebody reasonably good at making customs took uh, the driver and repainted him uh, himself. It feels a little fan-made. So whether that's a good or bad thing, I don't know. For me, it feels kind of like a bad thing, but it's fine. He's going to sit in the back and mind his own business. But other than that, it's an okay figure. Definitely the worst one in the bunch, uh, build quality-wise. Bang. I think it's only fair if the video is going to be this long anyway. I may as well show the his tank fully crewed up. The driver. Uh, yeah, see my gap. 
It's not that bad considering that there's a hinge right there. I've definitely seen worse that would have ticked me off. I don't know if I'm going to sticker this guy up or not. But you got the Hiss Gunner. She looks good back there. The Hiss Driver. And if I can spin this around well enough and he didn't fall over, you'll see I have the Tactician back there. And the gun rack and weapon rack all loaded up with the spare weapons honestly I'm blown away by it it's really really good I was expecting I was expecting much worse maybe that's maybe that's a sad thing to say but I was expecting way way worse listen if you've made it this far probably close to 30 minutes at this point then hats off to you uh, the odds of anyone watching this thing all the way through are pretty slim but i'll give you my final thoughts the his tank overall is a big win uh, whether or not you think it's worth the money is completely up to you uh, the price is, is going to be objective to everyone uh, i think it is a beautifully made vehicle I don't get the issues with the plastic the way some have. I think with the red and black canopy, it could have sealed that gap a little better, although mine is not near as bad as what most folks were. I mean, mine's really acceptable. Um, the Gunner is probably the second worst figure in the bunch just with the loose head mark, but it's the female mold they cannot seem to get that right very well and the tactician is an afterthought i mean it's a nice little nod they did there we we'll be able to do the fan vote for the colors but it feels like a fan made it not fan voted uh cobra commander fantastic looking figure feels good nice love the accessories i think he's a great cartoon version love the ability to alternate between a more cartoony look uh, versus a more weaponized futuristic look love the actual driver the light effects are really really cool i like those a lot and i appreciate the fact that it's just three double a batteries and not some weird off the wall battery that i've got to go find um that's it i think it's a pretty cool piece i hope if you wanted one you were able to get one a massive thank you again to G Tony. I cannot thank you enough. Uh, I promised that uh, even though this was a gift from you, that I would still give it a fair review. I think I've done that. I just got to decide whether or not I want to put the decals on here. Thank you very much, G Tony. You have absolutely no idea uh, how humble, uh, how humbling, and how appreciative I am. I hope I've expressed that in our messages uh, one on one. Uh, and like I said to you, I will pay it forward. Guys, thanks so much for hanging out with me. I really do appreciate it. If you did make it this far and haven't subscribed to the channel already, hit that subscribe button, smash that like button, share this video out there with your friends. Until next time, this is Kato signing out. See you around like a donut.